What's going on everyone? Hoping you are all having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. Today we are going to be going over five altcoins that I am currently holding. Obviously I'm holding a lot more altcoins than just five, but these are just the five I decided to choose. So obviously I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out, so stay tuned for those. And also guys, these five altcoins are in no order whatsoever. So keep that in mind when I'm going over these. These are just five altcoins that I believe have some great potential. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's get to it. So, number one on this list is Harmony, also known as one. So why do I think Harmony is a good one? Because before it reaches two, it's going to one. But no, really, Harmony is doing really big things like scaling Ethereum applications and cross-chain finance. So Stephen Say is the founder of Harmony. Stephen has a PhD in cryptography and has also been one of the core developers of Google Maps, as well as selling a startup to Apple that was sold for a million dollars. So because of his highly successful background, Stephen had no problem raising funds for the Harmony project. He was able to raise over $25 million for the Harmony project, which launched his mainnet in 2019. Alrighty guys, so when looking at the pricing of Harmony right now, we are at 14 cents borderlining uh borderlining 15 this is highly undervalued in my opinion guys highly undervalued um i honestly believe this one can see 50 cents in a blink of an eye and by that time everybody will be left out as you can see here we do have a bullish trend slightly starting to recover from this dip that happened last night if we go over here to the death there is indeed a lot of selling so i do believe this is oversold at this point right now guys I mean, a lot of people are just freaking out and trying to jump out. And a lot of people aren't long in general anyways. So we're going to scroll in here, take a look at this. At this point right here, there is a decent amount of buying, overselling. So that's a good sign right here for a reversal. We're going to scroll through here. And as you can see, as we scroll out, you start seeing the velocity of the selling compared to the buying right here. But... um honestly guys i can see this one going to 50 cents 30 cents really really quick especially with all the developments that they've had going on with harmony but um this is not financial advice i am not a financial advisor just gotta make sure i knock that one out but anyways guys i honestly believe this one can see 30 cents very soon especially once things start picking up here so anyways guys let's go on to staking because i am currently staking this one and i just want to cover that really quick before i go on to the next crypto all right guys so before we move on to the next uh crypto we are looking at the harmony website right here so i'm going to scroll down here because i just wanted to show you guys the uh, staking right here so with staking on harmony do you have an unlocking period of six days you uh to get to the staking you would scroll down to the bottom of their site under network you will see staking dashboard you hit that uh, once that pulls up it'll give you a list of validators right here and you'll get your expected returns right here on the right side with the stake the fees and uptime and then you can pretty much just scroll down here and go through the elected um, some of them will not be elected actually so you just go through here and make sure you look at this one thing that i do want to note is that you always want to check the uh, fees because some of these guys actually take like very very big fees like 50 percent all the way up to 100 percent as you can see right here with uh seam seed which means you get nothing in return pretty much so anyways guys this is the uh staking if you want me to do some more in-depth talk on harmony just let me know in the comments below and i will definitely do that but let's get on to crypto number two. Oh, two. <laughs> All right, so now for one of my favorites, besides Digibyte, we're gonna be talking about Engine, also known as ENJ. All right, so if you haven't heard of an Engine by now, you've probably been living under a rock. And that's because if you go on Google search and you type in Engine, you'll come up with top stories from places like Investor Place, Benzinga, FX Street, and more, guys. The amount of media attention on Engine right now is insane. All right, guys, so here's the Engine site right here. Engine has been innovating and moving swifter than swift faster than fast quicker than quick so for you guys who aren't too familiar with engine i'm gonna hit y engine really quick i'll read the first couple of lines off for you guys so you guys can kind of hear about that and then i'll go to the about and read the about us for a little bit all right so in 2017 we created engine coin today it powers more than 2 billion non-fungible tokens non-fungible tokens are also known as nfts in short and here's how it works so engine coin is infused into NFTs through a process called minting. 
This process can be reversed. Every NFT can be melted back into a coin. Engine coin has a real life value, meaning that all NFTs created with it have real life value too of $3.06. But actually, as you can see up here, Engine coin is trading at $3.14. This thing has been very volatile, making very swift moves up and swift moves down, but it's mainly been going up. So it's on an uptrend right now. These NFTs exist on the blockchain, which makes them powerful. This part right here is really cool. For example, your entire gaming inventory can be in your phone, guys. So basically, if you have a sword, you can use that sword in multiple games, which is awesome. And that can easily be sold to anyone at any time. But anyways, now we are going to go to the About Us really quick. Wait for that load. So, hi, we're Engine. We're on a quest to create better NFTs. Here's a couple pictures of Engine. Definitely has a great team. All right, so what we do, we're building a product ecosystem that will help humanity create advanced virtue economies through the power of blockchain technology. So who are they? We're a fully distributed team spread across five continents and a dozen countries, unified by a mission to build futuristic world-class products. So here's their leadership team right here. A lot of great people on this leadership team. But anyways, guys, after looking at this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go look at the charts. Well, actually guys, before we go ahead and look at the charts, let's give these guys a little bit more credibility. We have Maxim right here, who is the chief executive officer. We have Witek, which is the chief technical officer. We have Caleb, who is the chief operating officer. We have Elijah, which is the chief marketing officer. We have Brianna, which is the VP of Operations and Communications. We have Simon, who is also a VP of Developer Success. And we have Alex, who is the Executive Director Enterprise Platforms. And we have uh, Hey, which is the Director of Marketing Wallet and Marketplace. And we have Sharu, which is the Director of Marketing Enterprise. So we're going to scroll down here and you can see that this was found in 2009. The blockchain has assets created of 1.1 billion. They have 12.7 million engine coins locked in assets. Here's some highlights right here mentioned on Forbes, NASDAQ, VentureBeat. And we'll scroll down here. They're also trusted by some big players like Microsoft, Samsung, Atari, Unity and more. Definitely some big news that I've been hearing on Microsoft, but if you guys want me to go over like more in depth on the engine, just let me know in the comments below and I'm gonna have to do a separate video on that because I don't wanna stretch this one out too long. Alrighty, so right now we are at the prices right here. So here is where we're sitting at with engine right now. Let me scroll over, make sure, okay. So here's where we're sitting at with engine right now. We are currently sitting around a price of $3.11. So this one's been very, very crazy, guys. I'm gonna just scroll back here just so you guys can kind of see just the crazy up and down movements that this one's been doing. Yeah, so at one point, not too long ago, $3.32. And then now we are where we're at now, but these swings are not that bad, honestly. So we'll go to the death right here, see what's going on with this. As you can see, just like with Harmony, there's a lot of selling. Selling is trumping over the buying right now. Scroll in right here. And just like Harmony as well, the buying is actually starting to pick up now. I mean, a lot of people are starting to realize how much of a discount this is right now, because honestly, let's just face it. This one, in my opinion, my opinion, because I'm not a financial advisor, is going to $5. And after it hits $5, I can definitely see this one being worth 15 to 20 bucks. Easy, easy guys. But anyways, this is engine coin right here. Definitely gonna be keeping an eye on this one. I have a decent bag on this one. So I'm gonna definitely be watching this one. I've been watching this one like crazy since 66 cents, man. But anyways, let's get on to number three. All right, so next up we have VeChain. All right, so here's VeChain in short. VeChain is pretty much trying to bring the block... All right, so VeChain is pretty much trying to bring the blockchain and production world into Unity as one. So what I mean by that is pretty much like 
whenever you have to track your clothing, you have to track food or anything like that, you can see where those objects have been at all times and at what times pretty much. So whenever there's been recalls and stuff like this, this is definitely going to help with that issue of having recalls because of accidental things happening. So we'll actually be able to track our products more efficiently. So pretty much these tags are going to be able to allow us to track every single product on the blockchain. So instead of just one private entity being able to control where and when everything is being seen, we are actually going to have complete public access of this. So that would actually kill the problem of companies trying to lie about what has been done and where these products are coming from. So in short, VeChain's main objective is to bring more transparency between the production industry and the general public. So we are going to scroll down here. This is VeChain's website right here. As you can see, VeChain has VThor, the public blockchain that derives its value from activities created by members within the ecosystem solving real world economic problems. Alrighty guys, so here is the chart for VeChain. I also want to note before starting that you can stake VeChain. Uh, one of my favorite applications would be Exodus because with the Exodus wallet, the second that you deposit your VeChain, you exchange it from uh, another exchange then you automatically start accruing um, VThor. So with that, the pretty much the second you put it in there, you start getting your VThor every 10 seconds. Um, the same thing goes for uh, Binance, but the difference with Binance is uh, once you have your VET and you're holding it, you have to hold it for about a month and then they give you your VThor on a monthly basis. And there's no way to really completely like track exactly how much you have pretty much so i like the um exodus wallet a little bit better for that reason but anyways guys here is the chart right here we are sitting at a price valuation of 13 cents um almost about halfway to 14 again uh we did have a nice little run earlier up to uh 14 cents i've been in this one since about eight cents so it's been a nice little move uh, this one's seen a lot of price action, so I'm actually expecting this one to have a little accumulation period or a slight pullback, but not too much, guys. I honestly see this one going to about 20 cents fairly soon, fairly soon. I'll give it that. I see this one going to about 20 cents within probably by the end of this month, by like mid mid April. And let's see, we'll go. Where are we trying to go right now? All right, we'll go to death real quick. Check that out. As you can see here, this is completely different than uh, one and engine. As you can see here, we have a lot more buying action than we have selling on the outer view. So we'll scroll in here. Check this out a little bit. As you can see, people are, there's a lot more people that are bullish on VET right now. VET has a very, very big fan base. So there's definitely a lot more buying so this is still bullish guys this is very very bullish we're just having a slight little pullback right now but it's healthy so we'll keep an eye on this one definitely because as you can see here it's coming down but i think it's coming down because it's about to make its way right back up and break through that 14 um that 14 cent resistance so for right now we're gonna keep an eye on this one this is definitely one to watch um this is not financial advice and i am not a financial advisor but this one's going to easily be at 20 cents eventually and those who didn't buy are going to be sitting back and wishing they bought and probably end up buying in at a higher price but anyways guys let's go on to number four all right so next on the list we have storage Alrighty guys, so we are on the website of Storage Labs. Storage, it deals with uh, cloud storage, which is really big for somebody like me because I use up a lot of space. So anyways, let's go ahead to getting on to introducing you guys that aren't familiar with this to storage. So decentralized cloud storage is here. Join thousands of node operators and developers experiencing the faster, safer, and more affordable object, of, um, object storage alternative all made possible by a massive global network of nodes on the storage network so right here they have where you can become a host and you can also join the target grade so we're gonna put your extra uh, disk space to work you can get paid guys you can get paid we have we can pay you for your unused disk space to power the storage network and securely store encrypted data from the target grade cloud storage users be the cloud I want to be a cloud guys I want to be a cloud 
Node operators host data from users all over the world, enabling a truly private, totally secure, and completely decentralized cloud storage. And then right here they have use existing hardware. So this is one of my favorite parts right here, guys. You can operate a node without having to buy any extra hardware. Operating a node doesn't require extra hardware or power hungry computers. All you need is a solid internet connection and enough hard drive space, which is just awesome, guys. So they're pretty much allowing anybody to be included in this, as long as you have some decent internet. So we're gonna upgrade your storage layer, get faster, safer, and affordable cloud object storage with no central point of failure. Guys, I really, really like this storage uh, project. I really feel like they can help out a lot of other projects, including Theta and Engine, just two that I think would really, really benefit from this. Um, but anyways, we are going to go to the price action on this one right here. Alrighty, so right now, storage is trading at two dollars and 34 cents so this one's been pretty stable it's been pretty stagnant it hasn't really been doing too much it's taken a dip here or there but it hasn't really taken any drastic rises since like a couple weeks ago where it had that crazy run up which is understandable understandable so right here we're going to go to the death it's really looking like we are still in an accumulation phase but at the same time, you can see here, there's about just as much selling as there is buying right now until you look at the bigger picture right here. And obviously there's gonna be some more selling than there is buying at the moment. Um, a lot of people are starting to kind of get shooken out of this one, in my opinion, if you ask me, and um, starting to lose faith here. But I honestly believe this one is going to be one that's going to, I'm not gonna say, yeah, I'm not going to say what I was about to say because I don't know how YouTube's going to take that. But it's going to be one that's going to shock a lot of people, guys. So I really think this one is one that you should at least keep on your watch list if you don't already own some. But anyways, guys, let's go on to the final number five. All right, so number five on my list is none other than Digibyte. Alrighty guys, so here is Digibyte right here. There's not really too much that I'm wanting to go over on Digibyte because I just recently did a video on uh, Digibyte not too long ago. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and check that one out on my channel. You will not be disappointed. As you can see here, we are nearing the um, high right here again of nine cents. We're at borderline nine cent right now, which is awesome. So we're definitely getting some more movement. Um, our volume right now on coinmarketcap.com is up 21% and our market cap is up five percent which is very very great guys as you can see right here i know a lot of you guys were pointing out the uh circulating supply on um digibyte so here is the circulating supply right here which is 68 percent and then the max supply right here and then the uh total supply right here honestly guys with everybody saying that digibyte cannot hit a dollar i honestly believe that is not true uh, with the right amount of attention, Digibyte can easily see a dollar if you look at other projects, guys. Look at other projects that got a lot of attention from people and then out of nowhere took off and surprised a lot of people. I've seen a lot of things happen in many different markets where people thought that something was too heavy to move pretty much. Too heavy to move and it moved and then once it did move, those people were either the same people that were saying they wish they got in or congratulating everybody and being noble about it. But anyways, guys, I really think Digibyte is one to have your eyes on because I think this one's a sleeping giant. This one is really going to surprise a lot of people. And when it does, I'm going to be ready. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you guys today. These are my top five. Well, not my top five, but these are five altcoins that I'm watching. Definitely a few of these ones on this list are in my top five, but not all of them, but I'm just pretty much picking out five for right now. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.